Hey YouTube, this week Mike posted a video talking about the people that he used to have crushes on, so I decided to do something kind of like that for my video this week. My top 10 celebrity crushes. This isn't really in any particular order. Um, like, my top three might be, they, they, they might actually be my top three, but um, 10 through 4, they're just, they're all kind of tied for fourth place, so, yeah. 10! Jennifer Carpenter has been on my list of people that I've wanted to meet, that I've wanted to be like for a while, actually. Um, since I saw the first season, not the first season, since I started watching Dexter, Deb became my favorite character instantly. Uh, and then I saw her in quarantine, and I was like, you are amazing. And then I saw her in The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and I was like, you blow my mind. You were so fantastic, and I just love you forever. Um, and then when I met her at Comic-Con, I was like, dying. I was, I was trying not to cry. I was trying not to cling on to her. It was just amazing. She's a she is way up on my list. She is my, in my top ten. She is awesome. Nine. So the first time I ever saw Emma Stone was in Super Bad, and I just fell in love with her instantly. She's awesome. I love Emma Stone. Um, the only reason why I watched a lot of the movies that I've seen with her is because she's in it. Like I would never would have watched House Bunny if she wasn't in it. And I love House Bunny now. That's a great movie. But Emma Stone makes that movie for me. She's just... Ugh. And Zombieland? Oh my goodness. She is very awesome in Zombieland. And she has this new movie coming out called Easy A. Um, that looks really good, too. So I'm probably going to see that because I love Emma Stone. Eight! Emma Watson pretty much. I don't really like her with her really short hair now, but Emma Watson. Oh my goodness. Seven! Katy Perry. Do I even need to say anything about her? It's Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Six! Zachary Quinto is one of those guys who I've had a crush on for a while now. Um, ever since he was Siler in Heroes, I was, I've just been like, you are so gorgeous. Your eyebrows are awesome, and your mouth, and like your teeth, and just your arms. And he is the hairiest man I will ever like, because I do not like hairy people, like at all. And he's really hairy, but there's something about him that I'm like, you were just really hot, like all the time. And I liked him before. Everybody hopped on the Star Trek bandwagon and was like, oh my god, Spook is so hot. No, 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 no. That was me, like, years before Star Trek was even, like, a thing. So, yeah. I, he's mine. He's a mine. Five. You can't have a list of crushes without adding Zac Efron to the list. So I'm just saying, Zac Efron is on my list of really hot guys of people who I totally have a crush on, Zac Efron. Four! I only have four numbers left, and I'm totally running out of people to, like, say, because I have so many people on my list! Ah! Okay, number four is Jessica Strop. She plays Silver on 90210, and she's also in The Hills Have Eyes too. She's one of the girls... Um, well, obviously, she's she's not the girl that gets kidnapped. She's the other one who's, like, all hot and badass the whole time. And she's been in a lot of B-movies, and she's been in, like, a lot of, like, horror movies. Like, she was in Prom Night and Bats. Yeah. But she's so hot. Ah, like, all the time. All the time! And it's so hard watching 90210 with my mom, because she'll do something, and I'm like, Ugh! Do it again! And my mom's just kind of looking at me like, What the hell is wrong with you? And I'm like, So hot. So hot. Ugh. Yeah. Three. Katie Cassidy. She's in the newest uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movie. She was in Harper's Island. She was the wife. 
and she's in the new Melrose Place that I'm, I'm pretty sure that got canceled, and I'm like, no, no, I need my weekly dose of Katie Cassidy, um, and she was also in Supernatural, but I never watched that show, because it's kind of retarded, and she's, she's been in quite a lot of things, actually, surprisingly, um, but she is so hot. Oh my god. Ah. Especially in Melrose Place, when there's like a few scenes where she's like making out with some chick, and I'm like, you should just do that all of the time. You should just do that all of the time. Two! Zoe Deschanel. Um, you probably know her from 500 Days of Summer or Failure to Launch. She's in the Wizard of Oz-esque thing that was on sci-fi. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just called Oz. I don't remember. But, yeah, she was in that. She's been in so many things. And she's in, she's in She and Him, the band, which I don't really listen to. But uh, And she's an elf. She's in so many things, actually. But Zoe Deschanel, she looks a lot like Katy Perry, but she's like, I don't know. I love Katy Perry, but Zoe is like on the next level. Like there's Katy Perry hot, and then there's like Zoe Deschanel hot, and she's like super hot. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I really like Zoe Deschanel because it's Zoe, and you gotta love everything with Zoe in it. I've seen pretty much everything that she's been in, that I know of, I need to check IMDb again. One! So there's a lot of people I could put up in this, in this spot, but there's only one person that really deserves to be in this number one spot for me, and that is Selma Blair. I have the biggest weak spot for her. Um, ever since I saw Hellboy, she has just... Oh my god. Uh, and then In Cruel Intentions. Oh my gosh. I just love Selma Blair. Uh, I've seen almost every one of her movies. I'm on a mission to see every one of her movies before I die. Because she's just that important to me. And if I ever got to meet her, I would just explode into 500 billion pieces. Because she's just that awesome to me. She's like, she's awesome and she's hot. I don't care how old she is. She is, she is so... Uh. <laughs> I love Selma Blair. With like, all of my heart. But out of everybody that I've named, all of the celebrity crushes, the only person that I really, truly have a really big crush on is, of course, my girlfriend. I love you. Okay, well, since it is 2.27 on Tuesday Tuesday afternoon, um, I have to go get my little brother from school. I made this during the day because nobody else is home. So, yeah. I will see you guys next week. And I need to post a video on my real channel, but... um. I don't know when that's going to happen. Probably later. I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. I love you long time. Um, yeah. Bye!